Aquarius, welcome to your weekly love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from August 15th to the 21st. Hey guys! So for those who've been with me for a while, I'm no longer doing my pre-shuffle session. Those who are new, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. You don't even know what it is. Um, I am still going over my meditative session that I do before I start recording the video. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the tarot reading, okay? So Libras, I have some interesting energy I was picking up in your energy field. I definitely feel like this is around you, not coming from you. I want to make that very, very clear. Keep in mind, energy is energy. So this could be vice versa, especially if you're a cross watcher or, what, or whatnot, right? Um, Libras, people are watching you. You're getting a lot of attention. You're getting a lot of attention, and I feel like it's very warranted uh, attention. I feel like it's attention for your success, attention for any accolades, awards that you feel you, you deserve to be getting through your hard work, and definitely for a lot of you that's happening in the workplace, getting a lot of attention for the things you've done. Others, you're just feeling really good about yourself, so people are noticing that, and they're giving you a lot of flirty attention, a lot of, you know, social attention. Um, however, of course... As anyone who gets attention, right, when, everyone, when anyone gets attention, there's always going to be people who don't like how much attention you're getting, Libra. And I feel for some of you, these people, I got to be honest, it's almost like they're looking at you like someone who needs to be handled, like someone who needs to be controlled or taken care of. And I don't like that energy. Don't worry, this ain't an action movie. It's not anything super maniacal. But definitely it's this energy of let's rein Libra in a little bit. Let's la let's knock Libra down a peg or two. You know, it's definitely coming from very jealous energy, but it's also this energy of having or of going about it in a delicate way. It's almost like whoever is doing this, like who's ever, Jesus, whoever is in this thought process regarding you, Libra, they want to take action in reining you in, taking you down a peg, controlling you, handling you. I don't like, I don't like that energy. It's very off-putting to me, but that is what I'm getting. But they're looking at, at you like, like it's a delicate situation. Like if they're going to try to do anything in regards to how they're feeling about you, like in these jealousy, envious, um, very festery kind of energies that you have that has to be handled delicately and with like stealth. I don't know what that's about, but that's how it feels like handling you with delicacy and stealth. I don't like it, Libra. I really don't like it. Okay. However, not everyone who has their eyes on you are, you know, wishing you ill. You definitely have a lot of people who are happy for your success, happy for where you are. But these jealous energies, I feel like they're just threatened by you, Libra. And when I was meditating on that on that specific energy, I heard the mind. They're threatened by your mind. Okay. Some of you could be um, just very intelligent. Um, some of you could just be a, you know, a very, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like a new, like a new way of thinking, like, um, you, like maybe you have a perspective on life that's kind of new to like modern society or like not a way typical people, typical people, Jesus, people typically see things or see the world or, or have perspectives on life. Either way, it's something about your mind. They're threatened by your mind. Okay. Some of you, it's just purely the mental. If you're intuitive, they're threatened by the fact that you're very intuitive that's what they're threatened by, Libra. They're just threatened by your awesomeness, okay? <laughs> so just take it like that. Take it as a compliment. But just keep that in mind that there are at least an energy, maybe even two for some of you. You'll already be aware of this, Libra, is actually what I'm getting. I don't think this is going to be a shock to you. Um, just be mindful, though, because there is this energy of wanting to handle you, wanting to control, wanting to take you down a peg, wanting to rein you in out of jealousy. And it's like in their head, it's like it has to be precise, Whatever they want to do, it has to be precise in how they want to execute it, okay? Um, Libra, I also have this energy coming in, actually. It feels very warm. It feels very soft. It feels very good, actually. It feels very good. Um, someone who wants to extend very loving energies towards you, you already have people giving you accolades. That's, like, that's something I've already picked up on. This feels softer. This feels much softer. This almost feels, it almost feels very intimate, very intimate, very romantic, I feel like someone's going to be very, very vulnerable with you, Libra, whether it's a friend or a family member or a love interest. But I do feel a lot of vulnerability coming forward, Libra. And I think you're just in a really good place. And because you're getting a lot of attention, it's making this person want to be even more vulnerable with you, want to be even more open with you, more honest with you. But I just feel like they want to surround you with really warm, yummy energy. It feels really good. I like that energy. I really like whoever that is. But Libra, 
you're you're having a good time right now you're coming to some amazing success a lot of you already have it and have been enjoying it for quite some time we've been picking up on that for quite a while already okay but let's go ahead and get into your reading anybody who has any questions or curiosities or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer please check out the link below libra i'm also i also can't shake this feeling of twisted words of twisted words i can't shake it and i feel like i'm even stumbling over my words a lot because of this energy i feel like some of these jealous energies Libra, some of you, okay, some of you aren't fully aware. A lot of you are, a lot of you are aware of, of these energies, but some of you aren't, okay? And I feel like you're telling them things that you maybe shouldn't, personal things about yourself, and they're, they're like twisting it. They might be, they might be taking whatever you say and twisting it and talking to other people about it. Like full on lies to other people about what you say, like putting words in your mouth that like words you never said. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, people could also be just lying to your face. Please keep that in mind as well. Okay, any messages for Libra regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? Any messages for Libra regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? I, oh, I just saw a wolf. Okay, Libra, I just saw a wolf. I feel like it's whoa. Okay, I actually feel like. I was going to say it's your animal totem, but it's more than that. It feels like a very protective energy. It feels like a very protective energy. Some of you could resonate with that animal totem. Um, I, I feel like I feel like it's spirit trying to basically let you know that they, they are trying to protect you from these energies, which might be why some of you aren't sensing them, okay? Some of you are protected. Some of you are very much protected spiritually, okay? Any messages for Libra regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? Any messages for Libra regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? Any messages for Libra regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? Any messages for Libra regarding love? <laughs> Why am I saying watermelon? <laughs> They're showing me watermelon. I don't know if some guys are eating watermelon or what. I mean, I know it's summer, at least here in the in the northern hemisphere. Um, watermelon, watermelon. I don't know what to make of that. Some of you guys are eating watermelon. <laughs> okay. Oh, maybe some of you guys are just like out a lot. Maybe you guys are like out like oh having a picnic or something, a summer picnic. First card out, judgment, fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. <laughs> Libras, you guys are feeling really special around this time, and you are. You are very special. That's actually what I'm getting with this. You are finally getting the right judgment passed on you, which is why you're getting a lot of attention, which is why you're getting accolades, awards, success, recognition for your hard efforts, recognition for the awesome person that you are, okay? You are very much chosen. I almost feel like, like, boop, like you've just been, boop, you've just been blessed. <laughs> you've just been blessed, Libra, and people are now aware of it. Some of you have always been blessed. Okay, this is interesting. Some of you have always been very talented. Some of you have always been very gifted or just very, again, they're bringing up the mind, special. Special regarding your mind. However, whatever you got going on with your mind, Libra, whoever that's for, you've always had a special mind. I don't know what they're trying to get at with that, but you're finally getting attention for that. It almost feels like like ugly duck uh, ugly duckling kind of storyline where it's like you you've always had something special about you you've always been gifted you've always been talented you've always had a big heart an incredible mind a special mind and you haven't gotten full recognition of it until now okay but either way you're having proper judgment placed on you and it feels damn good and it's about damn time libra okay so let's keep it going Oh yeah, I'm feeling those jealous energies again, man. People, there are jealous, jealous energies around you that are not happy about it. It could even be family, coworkers, friends. And again, it could even be love interests or even exes, but not happy about it. Very, very jealous about it. Wow, three of swords in reverse, Libra energy, Saturn and Libra to be specific. Healing is taking place with this as well. Very much, oh my God. And look at that sun right there, that sunshine. This is why I love this three of swords in this deck because when it's upright, you know, you're, you're, you're talking about heartbreak, pain, discomfort. It's a little dark. It's a little, you know, dank, dark kind of energy. But when you flip it up, it is about healing and moving past pain, getting over pain, putting it behind you and purging. And you got that bright, just beautiful light around it. Libra, 
whatever this mo I feel like it's like a grand moment you're kind of having actually. This is actually really interesting. Some of you, it's a moment. It's a moment of attention, a moment of receiving awards, accolades, being congratulated, getting that pat on the back that you've been wanting for a long time. It's healing some old wounds, I think, around not being recognized, around not being respected. Yeah, around not being respected, not being recognized, feeling a little bit like ugly duckling. I gotta be honest, it feels a little bit like that. And especially with that sun, I keep getting a little bit of like being in the limelight. Some of you might be getting um, public recognition for something you've done, um, whether it's in the news or a blog or something of that nature, or it's just your whole social environment recognizing you, right? That could even be limelight specifically, but it's healing some old wounds regarding not being recognized for your efforts or not being recognized in general. Let's see what else we got here. Any other messages for Libra? regarding love august 15th to the 21st some of you thought you dealt with those issues okay this is sorry i'm getting a download some of you thought you dealt with some of these issues and i think you have for the most part but there's they're still there that wound is still there but this is healing that this is healing that any messages for libra regarding love august 15th to the 21st oh oh ooh, ooh. any messages for libra so I only got two other cards out here, and they're cards that are making me nervous, Libra. Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be fire or air here. It's very air-heavy cards, and you are Libra, but I definitely feel like this is someone else's energy. This could be the energy that you've been needing to heal from, from those wounds, okay? Knight of Cups in reverse and Knight of Swords in reverse, that's drama. It's drama in love, drama with lovers, not get, not feeling loved, not feeling respected, having to constantly fight. I'm getting having to constantly fight. Having to constantly prove yourself. Some of you have had issues with that. Having to, feeling the need to constantly prove yourself, prove your worth. You don't have to do that anymore, Libra. You don't have to, well, first of all, you don't have to do that. <laughs> you don't gotta do that. Um, but you're healing from that. You're healing from that from whatever recognition or proper judgment is being placed on you, okay? I'm also getting this energy. Mm, this feels like recent past. I feel like in the recent past, you guys have had some drama in your love life or with a particular love interest. Um, but I feel like some of you have definitely had options. But there's one standing out here. I just get drama around this person. Total drama. Oh, I just heard drama queen. Whether they're male or female, I did just hear drama queen. But someone who really wasn't giving you the love that you felt you deserved or the respect you felt like you deserved. Overall energy, we do have nine of cups in reverse, Piscean energy. So again, it's like this energy of being disappointed throughout your life, throughout your life by people because the way they treated you, not seeing you for your value, not seeing your value, not seeing your value. Some of you have could have, could have struggled with uh, codependency. Some of you could have struggled with overindulgence. Some of you could have struggled with depression or all the above. Um, but it's almost this energy of kind of carrying it with you a little bit, even if you've grown, even if you've gone through life and you know your value, you know, I don't have to prove myself. I know I'm worth a hell of a lot. There's a little part of you that still has always carried that that still always carried that. That's being addressed right now. It might feel very uncomfortable, Libra. I have to be honest. It might feel very uncomfortable. And in this moment of getting your proper judgment, getting your accolades, getting what you've always deserved, getting the recognition you've always deserved, this little wound is being brought up again. And these jealous energies around you are sensing that. So be very careful, Libra. They're sensing that. So they might take an opportunity to try to knock you down a peg. Don't let them. Don't let them. This is your moment and you deserve it. It's yours. It's yours. And they can go sit in a corner and cry about it if they want to. Okay. Because it's your goddamn moment. All right. Sorry. I'm getting upset for you. <laughs> I don't know why my mama bear gets triggered sometimes with my subs. But anyway, let's go ahead and look at this judgment. Let's look at judgment and see the judgment that's being placed on you. Okay. It feels very positive. Feels very positive. Using right or weight to clarify. Tell me about judgment. For Libra, regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Some of you, this is straight up your own family. This is stuff, seriously. Some of you, this is your, straight up your own family. Tell me about judgment for Libra, regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about judgment 
for Libra regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. I'm sorry that family's coming in again. For those where this, this is family, who are, like family members who are jealous of you, I feel like they always tried to knock you down a peg through your life. They always tried to because they recognized how valuable you really are, the value you carry, the specialness, for lack of a better word, that you carry, which is why they've always treated you that way for those who are wondering, okay? That is the reason and the fact that you were actually getting recognized for it and you're finding strength and healing in that, right? You're finding strength and healing in that threatens them even further, okay? Tell me about judgment. For Libra regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about judgment. For Libra regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about judgment. For Libra regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about this judgment for Libra. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be fire or air with the Seven of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Libra, for some of you, this attention that you're getting, it's it's so interesting. It's almost like you're getting this, this attention indirectly. For some of you, you were dealing with a player. Some of you were dealing with a player, um, someone who had a lot of options, someone who could have even struggled from mental illness. So for some, your, str your struggle was dealing with very controlling people, people who were very domineering, people who were mentally ill, and that's being recognized because something's happening with them. Does that make any sense? Something's happening in their world where light is being shed on them, and in that, in doing so, your struggle with them is being highlighted and so is your strength for having to deal with that okay that's for some of you but others you definitely were dealing with a player and okay thank you same thing same thing for those who are dealing with a player or who have dealt with many many players like let's say like all your exes were basically players or who you know cheated on you or what have you didn't respect you or very controlling of you because of whatever you're doing in your life they're not happy about it right they're not happy that you're in a good place without them um and because they can't stand it they're doing a lot of talking right they're doing a lot of talking they might even hit you up a little bit but it's only shining the light more on you more on you because you know you're not dealing with them yeah you're not dealing with them yeah if you've been hearing from your exes libras um or if you've been hearing from your past lovers or again family members or friends old friends ex-friends um who know you're coming into success and you're like yeah i'm done with that because i'm a I'm, I'm grown. <laughs> I'm grown. I'm stronger. I don't deal with low vibrational people anymore. It's making them more upset. But in turn, it's just shining more light on you. It's shining more light on you because they can't get over it. They can't deal with it. Interesting. All right, let's see what else we have here. Tell me more about judgment. Tell me more about judgment for Libra. Some of you are writing. Oh, Libras, I like that. I like that. For some, you're actually get. Oh, okay, that makes sense now. Some of you are writing books about your your struggle with people in your family or uh, your struggle with people in general through the course of your life. I'm getting majorly unfair treatment, Libra. It's like, it's almost like you feel like the target was always on your back through through your life. Some of you, not all of you. Some of you, it's like the target was always on my back. People were always more unfair to me than other people. And some of you are actually writing about it and you're getting recognition for that. You're getting actual recognition for that, okay? Yeah, any any of you guys who are writing about your pain, essentially monetizing your pain, don't stop doing that because it can help other people, okay? And you will be successful in your endeavors. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment for Libra regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Oh, tell me about judgment for Libra regarding love August 15th to the 21st yeah for some these people are actually like getting in trouble socially and it's just bringing all the truth out of whatever they did to you again more proper judgment on you and your struggle all right wow now we have magician in reverse mercurial energy which is Virgo Gemini could also be Aquarius Scorpio for me as a reader divine masculine energy and ten of cups in reverse Piscean energy 
with the king of swords aquarian energy could also be gemini or libra yeah all this trickery and ten of cups ten of cups ten of pentacles are usually about home and family vibrations in the emotional versus the tangible right the pentacles this is emotional emotional home state emotional family state all the little tricksters i'm also hearing narcissist narcissist all in your home environment your family environment for many of you through the course of your life full clarity and truth about that yeah full clarity and truth about that and you're getting recognition for the strength that you've had to endure that wow this is awesome libra overall energy we have eight of pentacles Virgo energy. This is an energy of study and very hard work. I'm getting isolated work. Yeah, some of you are definitely writing about it. Some of you are definitely writing. Again, don't stop. <laughs> don't stop. I'm also getting um, just career in general. Why is your career being highlighted in this? Hold on a second, Libra. Because this is definitely about your past pain and your struggles. Oh, okay. Thank you. For some, it could have just been like a rags to riches story of yours and maybe you're getting recognition for that you know maybe you started with nothing and you've built up like you just built up yourself you built up your life to something that people didn't expect of you people underestimated you quite a bit libra people really underestimated you yeah whatever people expected you to do with your life or saw you doing with your life you really proved them wrong and you really kind of shocked the hell out of them because you did put in the hard work you put in the hard efforts you made the sacrifices you had to make to do it and you're happy. You're very much happy. Yeah, for a lot of you, your family's jealous. A lot of you, your family's jealous. Um, and again, could also be friends, coworkers. But either way, the truth of your struggles and everything that was ever done wrong to you. Again, it's around work for some reason. Around work, around work, around work. It's coming to light. It's coming to light. Enjoy this moment, Libra. Enjoy this moment. You deserve it. All right, let's look at Three of Swords in reverse. Uh, I'll do Steampunk for this one. Tell me about Three of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Three of Swords in reverse. I feel like someone's also recognizing their own wrong, wrongdoing, Sir Libra, for some of you. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Libra, for some of you where this is a recent love interest as opposed to, you know, lifelong issues or lifelong dealing with, you know, hard people to deal with um someone who was very controlling with you a little maybe even a little pushy maybe even a little pushy someone who either could also have been a player a cheater someone who could have also struggled with mental illness the whole bag the whole bag you know she is whatever on that spectrum this person lied on for you through whatever you have going on in your life they're realizing that their their tricks three ways was very like self-sabotagery to them like their own and they have clarity about that I know it's very Yoda the way I said that. They're realizing this is how they were behaving. They're realizing that. They're realizing that. And that they basically sabotage their own happiness. Okay? They have full clarity about that. But I feel like it's by watching you and whatever it is you're doing. Okay? Tell me about Three of Swords in a verse for Libra regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about Three of Swords in reverse for Libra regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about Three of Swords in reverse. Okay. Tell me about Three of Swords in reverse for Libra regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about Three of Swords in reverse for Libra regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Wow, Emperor, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Yes, yeah, some of you are healing from this energy or person. When I say energy, it could represent a group of people, okay? Um, but this is someone who is a little controlling. They're also getting demanding. I don't know what that's about, but a little demanding. Um, tough in words, what does that mean? The way this person communicates is a little rough little rough a little direct but they're hard to talk to is also what i'm getting hard to talk to this person likes control yeah libra for some of you this is representing a group of people you've dealt with others it's a person and you're healing from this person someone who also i'm getting doesn't like to hear you talk i don't know that's about i don't, I don't like that 
Wow, Ace of Wands. Oh, Libra. Yeah, for some of you where this is just a person, it's this person who's gained the clarity on the way they've behaved. And with the Ace of Wands, it's like they, they have passion for you still. They still want something with you. If this is just a romantic interest, a recent romantic interest, I say recent. Okay, recent. A recent romantic interest, like the last year, you know, kind of romantic interest because they've gained the clarity here, okay? You're also acting as an inspiration, Libra. You're acting as an inspiration. You're acting as an inspiration. Oh. Part of your struggle, again, for those where this is a lifelong struggle kind of coming to a head and you're finally healing the last bits of your lifelong struggle, you've had to act as your own inspiration. That's a little heavy. You've had to act as your own inspiration. Wow, Libra. I'm picking up on, I, this is this is definitely isn't for all Libras, but for those who, are, who again, this like lifelong struggle is kind of coming to a head because you're finally getting the recognition you deserve after all this time, and it is helping you heal those last little bits of issues you have around that, around ha being recognized. Um, I'm picking up on a group who's resonating with that where you've always been very alone. It's like for a very long time, probably for most of your life, no, you learned early on. You learned early on that no one has your back and you were going to have to do every, like you were basically going to have to go through life and support yourself and build yourself up on your own, which is what motivated you to do the work that you did to get to where you are. That's amazing, Libra. So for those who are out there, you're amazing. Okay. Ooh, time about three of swords in reverse for Libra. I'm about three of swords in reverse for Libra regarding love. August 15th. I just heard 25th. I just heard 25th. August 15th to the 21st. I'm about three of swords in reverse for Libra. Let's see here. Three of pentacles. Jesus. Capricorn energy. Yeah. Guys, for those where this is like that person who's recognized, who's had the light bulb moment. Oh, I, that, you know, I sabotage my own happiness here and I treated Libra like shit. <laughs> I treated Libra like shit. They definitely want to build with you, Libra. They definitely want to build, build with you. Again, this is a recent romantic interest that I'm picking up on. Um, in the midst of the jealous people. Mm. Oh, Libra, yeah, be careful. In the midst of the jealous people, they really might try to get in with you first try to get on your good side to see what they can get out of you and i think that's not going to work because i think with these jealous people most of them are people that you've already written off okay and they're yeah i think for most of them they're people you've already written off um and when that doesn't work they're going to get very upset so keep that in mind overall energy for the three of swords in reverse we have hangman in reverse piscean energy yeah that light bulb moment so he has a light bulb moment because this is being awakened being enlightened to something that this person was not aware of before which is basically, oh, I treated Libra like shit. I treated Libra like shit, and they have full clarity about that now because of whatever it is that you're doing. Oh, come back. Whatever it is that they're seeing you do, okay? Now, these energies. And then we're going to go ahead and get into the advice. Knight of Cups in reverse and Knight of Swords in reverse. I'm just going to, hmm, I'm just going to look at the intention behind this energy, yeah, I'm not liking it. I'm not loving it. Because for some of you, this is just relating to your past trauma or past issues that is being healed in this limelight moment, in your moment, in the sun. Again, enjoy it, Libra. But let's take a brief look at the intention behind those energies. Because the fact that they're right here, I feel like these might be the jealous energies. All right. Oh, no, I don't want to use this deck. Um, I just like, I grabbed it because like, I was so into it. I'm going to use Gilded Tarot to look at this. What's the intention behind these knights? Show me the intention behind these knights. Show me the intention behind these knights. Show me the intention behind these knights. Yeah, Libra, I feel really strongly. These, the, this is representing the energies. And for some, this recent love interest who has had a light bulb moment. Others, it's the jealous energies, Libra, that didn't give you that recognition that you deserved for however long you deserved it, however long they didn't give you that recognition. Those energies that tried to keep you down because they were threatened by your light, your happiness, your energy, 
what have you, your, your special mind, <laughs> whatever that was about, your special mind, I definitely feel like these are jealous energies that are that are surrounding you, okay? So just be mindful. Just be mindful. What's the intention behind these knights? 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 Show me the intention behind these knights. Show me the intention behind these knights. <laughs> Empress, first card out. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. You, you, Libra. These, this knight energy, again, for some of you, it's a group, of, it's this group of people who are very jealous in regards to you. Um, others, it's this recent romantic interest who's had their light bulb moment about you. Either way, it's about you, okay? <laughs> it's about you. And they see you as an empress, okay? Which is basically, you did have to get to an empress or empress status. You've had to go through a lot of fucking shit to get to this point. And you put in a lot of hard work, Libra, to get to this point. Keeping in mind this recent romantic interest where that applies for some of you. Keep in mind that all that romantic interest stuff will apply to all of you. So just take everything as it resonates. We do have an emperor and empress here, okay? Very much a true partnership so to speak all right and this is an emperor who's had a, their light bulb moment show me the intention behind these knights show me the intention behind these knights show me the intention behind these knights yeah show me the intention behind these knights oh yeah so we only had one other clarifying energy come out. It's the Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Like I said, for those where this is representing a recent romantic interest who has now had their light bulb moment and they're now a, an emperor from a king of swords who was previously a king of wands in reverse <laughs> and magician in reverse. That's a big transition. Okay, first of all, let's look at that. So this was their starting state with you. For those where this is our recent romantic interest, this was their starting state with you, Libra. Then they got their clarity. And then they have their little cocooning spiritual, you know, light bulb moment. And now they're an emperor, okay? Their intention is to come in with love, come in with apologies, come in to give you more of the accolades and recognition that you do deserve, okay? However, Libra, like I said, for others, where this lifelong issue, struggle of being recognized, um, getting away from people who try to keep you down because of your amazing energy, your happiness, your light, your joy, your special mind, again, whatever that means to you. They're coming in to charm you, okay? Like I said, I was picking up on that, Libra, where these jealous energies, they're going to try to get on your good side to see what they can get out of you. But I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. So keep that in mind. Overall energy, we do have ooh, Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or water. You could be a mother figure or there could be, mm, for again, those who have these jealous energies relating to your lifelong struggle, could be around a mother figure for some of you, not all of you though, okay? Um, but someone definitely sees you also as a Queen of Pentacles energy. Queen of Pentacles is the very busy queen, okay? Uh, she's basically the queen that multitasks, the queen that gets it all done. Also a very true partner here. The recent romantic interest, I'm not surprised, sees you as a Queen of Pentacles and an Empress. Both very motherly, maternal, nurturing, hardworking energies, okay? Very much so. Um, just keep in mind, Libra, for those who are experiencing jealous energies who are trying to charm you, keep keep this in mind because they know how hardworking you are. They know how hardworking you are. They also know how kind you are. But you're no fool, okay? <laughs> you're no fool, Libra. I know you won't let these jealous energies fool you. I know you won't. But again, for those where this is a recent romantic interest, they have had their light bulb moment, okay? And they are coming in to apologize because they want to give you the recognition you deserve for the hard work that you've put in in yourself, in your hard work, whatever it is you are being recognized for specifically. Wow. Okay, Libra. <laughs> so anyway, congratulations, Libras, because clearly some of you are definitely getting congratulated right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, underneath that, yeah, six of wands. Yeah, some of you are definitely getting congratulated. Again, a lot of you are getting a lot of attention. Enjoy it. You guys deserve it. Any advice for my Libras? Regarding this spread, any advice for my Libras? Hey, regarding this spread, 
Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Come on. Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras? Ooh. Nightingale spirit, love is all around. 41 breaking down to a five. Change is happening in your life, Libra, because you're having this moment in the lim limelight. You're having your moment in the sun. You're having your moment of recognition, awards, accolades. And there are people who really love and support you. You wouldn't be getting recognition if there weren't, okay? Remember that, Libra. You wouldn't be getting recognition for this if there weren't people who cared a hell of a lot about you. For me as a reader, this is also a card indicating that there's a very significant love interest involved in the situation, which for some of you, there really much is. Okay, your recent love interest who's had their white bulb, light bulb moment after watching you and your struggle or whatever it is you've done for yourself, okay? You are loved, Libra. You got some haters too, obviously. <laughs> obviously, you got some haters too. But you do have a lot of people who love you, okay? Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Let's see what else we have here. Because remember, I'm picking up on Libras that definitely have had a lifelong struggle of not feeling recognized, not feeling respected, and being very much mistreated, even if you have always kind of known that you were something more. You know, you weren't the average bear, essentially. Any other advice for my Libras? Any other advice? Well, that really wants to come out. Any other advice for my Libras regarding the spread? Oh, yeah, I guess I should have guessed that was coming out. Oh my gosh, Libra. Any other advice? You got a lot of cards. Any other advice for my Libras regarding this spread? All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, very nice. Cat spirit, claim your independence. 13, breaking down to a four. We also have, oh, elephant spirit. By the way, it's elephant day. Just saying, it is. Elephant day, learn from the past, Libra. 25, breaking down to a seven. This came out pretty much cemented to the snake spirit. Time to heal. Energy of 55. For some, this could involve a tower moment. And if it is a tower moment, it's a good ass tower moment. And then frog spirit, clear out the clutter. 28, which is a cyclical energy. Yeah, Libra, this is going to be a very healing moment for you. A healing that is has long overdue. Long overdue. With Cat Spirit, claim your independence, that 13 breaking down to a 4. A lot of you, your energy I was picking up on with this lifelong struggle, especially those that in that subgroup of you, you learned early on that you were alone. I know, it was really heavy. That's heavy ass shit. Um... Being so strong on your own for such a long time was very necessary for you and, again, allowed you to put in the work that you had to put in there, okay? Stay with that independence, Libra, especially as these jealous energies kind of come in on you to try to charm you. Even with this romantic interest who's had their light bulb moment and who wants to come in and apologize, give you the recognition that you deserve, still stick with your independence. Hold on to it, Libra, because I feel like, with the, especially with this romantic interest... I feel like you two are very compatible, especially now that they've grown up a little bit and they've had their light bulb moment. Just, I feel like it's really easy to develop a little bit of a dependable relationship just because you two are so compatible that your energies just really like being involved with each other's energy. So just keep your independence, okay? Keep your independence here. Um, and again, for these jealous energies, especially for those where it's a family situation, don't allow them to cling. Thank you. Don't allow anyone to cling. Don't allow anyone to cling during this moment of success, this moment of recognition, this moment of being in the limelight of your success. Don't let anyone cling to you. Keep your independence here, okay? Um, and then we have elephant spirit and snake spirits. Oh, Libra, if this just doesn't say it all, like I said, it's a very healing moment for you very healing moment and it is regarding the past your lifelong past for some of you again this issue of not being recognized not feeling respected you've grown a lot libra you've been through a lot of shit and in this final moment of dealing with these issues you get to have your healing about it okay you get to finally release that burden you get to finally release that nugget of pain that nugget of wounding so just let it flow through you and like i said it's gonna be uncomfortable it's gonna be quite uncomfortable for some of you just 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 let it happen okay just let it happen and take it a little slow sip it sip it like a fine wine okay sip this moment enjoy this moment it's yours it's healing 
people are seeing the wisdom you have people are seeing your struggle and that's only going to help more people as well to, for them to do their own healing especially those writers out there don't stop writing all right now we have frog spirit clear out the clutter like i said healing healing purging getting rid of that little last nugget of emotional pain from this struggle that a lot of you've had lifelong some of you the struggle is also just relating to this recent love interest who definitely mistreated you okay definitely mistreated you some is just a straight up player some you're dealing with someone who's had a little bit of mental illness others you're dealing with someone who's very controlling or all the above all right overall energy oh wow wasp spirit sometimes life stings 64 a cyclical energy like i said you're coming into a moment of recognition okay it is going to open a new cycle for you because it's going to be very healing for you and when we do healing like this it always opens up more opportunities it always basically leads to the next chapter when you get to heal stuff like this especially those where this is a, a wound from a long time ago or that's something you've carried with you for many many years or decades okay yeah, it's uncomfortable, it's painful, but you get to, oh, focus, but you get to put that pain behind you. Yeah, life does sting sometimes, and some of you, it got, it stung you more than others, okay, which is why you work so goddamn hard to get to where you are, and it's okay to own that. It's okay to recognize that because you are getting recognized for it, okay? <laughs> All right, Libras, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Namaste, Libras.